I've apparently accomplished the impossible. I shaved with this cremo on Friday <laughs> for the first time. And then I got a lot of comments that said, you're not supposed to lather with that stuff. It's a non-lathering shaving cream. And yet I lathered with it. I created a lather with this. I'm glad that was on video because no one would believe me if they'd known I could lather a non-lathering shave cream. So I'm gonna try again today. <laughs> uh, I didn't read the instructions, of course. I assumed, and you should never assume, I assumed that this was just, um, you know, a, a normal shaving cream in a tube that you would use a brush to lather with. Uh, but when I read the directions now, after having several comments left, uh, it says, okay, it says rub your skin with the hottest water you can stand for 30 seconds. It's highly concentrated and water activated. Massage an almond sized dollop onto your wet skin until a light lather forms. Less is often best and then shave. Add water as needed to keep it slippery, effective and easy to rinse from razor. So it's a light lather. So it is, it's somewhere in between a brushless shaving cream and a full on latherer. I don't know what to do. I, I, uh, I don't know what to do. I, uh, I'm gonna shave with it again. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do the way they tell you to, without a brush. Okay, let's, just, let's do it. I, I'm a little, uh, I'm verklempt here. I don't know what to say. Uh, I will say that I took a shower and did my hair. I will also say that my hairstyle today, as spiky and crazy as it is, was brought to you by Cremo as well. Barber grade uh, hairstyling pomade. There you go. Yeah. So actually, you know, in that last video, I told you I came across the Cremo trailer and hoped they'd recognize me. <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> um, and they gave me this for free. They didn't give me any shaving stuff, but they did that. So this is the first time I've tried this, and it really it's, makes your hair stick up like crazy. All right. I'm going to put some hot water on my face. Now, I took a shower, so I don't need to do it for 30 seconds like it says on here. But I am going to use a dollop that is only the size of an almond, and I'm gonna rub it into my beard, which I didn't shave yesterday. I mean, I kinda did, I used an electric razor. But today, I'm gonna use the old grungy fat boy, the old 1960 vintage fat boy. And the blade I have in it is the Paul Silver that I transferred from my Rockwell that I've been using. I don't remember, I probably have six shaves on this now. And so I'm gonna try it in the fat boy, which I haven't done yet, let me show you. There it is, the old fat boy, the old grandpa grungy, but today I'm gonna to put it on nine. I have never shaved, as far as I can remember, and I've got a terrible memory. I don't think I've ever shaved on nine. Certainly not with any regularity. Maybe I tried it once, I usually stick to seven, so I'm gonna go with nine, because I like an aggressive shave. And then afterwards I'm gonna use the Cremo. This is weird, I'm not, this, it's like Groundhog's Day. This is like two in a row that I'm using the same thing, but there's a reason. I love this stuff. Fantastic. And I'm gonna try this the way you th they say you're supposed to. Okay, water on my face because this says it's water activated. I'm gonna put an almond size. Is that an almond? It's not almond shaped, it's almond sized. Um, oh yeah, let's see what it says. It says massage uh, an almond size into your wet skin. Okay, I'm gonna put it in between my fingers and then apply it. There's a light lather. There's a light lather for you folks. Very light lather. Oh, this is gonna annoy the people that hate a dry looking lather. Are there people that hate a dry looking lather? Oh, my phone is sliding, let me, there we go. It smells good. I love, I just, I just love mint. And good grief almighty, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> okay, hold on, I gotta fix this. This is crazy. What the heck? Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Ooh, that almost slipped. You almost saw the entirety of Sinatra Lennon. Can't let that happen. It's like looking at Medusa. You'll turn to stone. Oh God, please. Okay, well, I'm, I'm a little, um, it says it's water activated. I'm gonna put some more water on my hands. Make sure that it's well hydrated because I'm a little iffy on uh, whether this is gonna work or not, but that's what they say. I guess they they formulated it for a reason, right? I'm gonna trust them. I'm gonna go ahead and trust them. You gotta have a little bit of trust in this life or else you'll just be miserable. Okay, here we go. 
Grandpa Grungy Fat Boy. Cremo. What's it called again? Oh yeah. Cooling Concentrated Shave Cream Refreshing Mint. With a Paul Silver Blade. This is kind of weird because I can't tell where I've shaved and where I haven't because the, there's not a lot of lather on my face. So that could be a problem if you're forgetful like I am. You might shave over the same spot too many times. You don't want to do that. So thanks to everybody that joined me on the porch on Saturday night. Was it Saturday night? No, no. When was it? Friday night. Friday night. A stormy, a dark and stormy night. I was safe and sound on my porch. I didn't get electrocuted. Not struck by lightning. But thanks everybody for joining me. And uh, I like to have those from time to time, just live hangouts where I'm just shooting the breeze, not really talking about shaving. In fact, I kind of don't like talking about shaving on those hangouts. I just want to talk about whatever people bring up. Usually it tends towards uh, music or uh, guitars or whiskey or, you know, those kind of things. So if you missed that last hangout, join me on the next one. Who knows when it'll be? I have no idea. I don't put these on a... I'll tell you what, this is shaving really well. This Paul Silver Blade. This is about the sixth shave on it. And uh, I got conflicting comments saying that in some cases people said these Paul Silver are definitely no, more, no longer being made and some said yes they are, but I think the preponderance of evidence is that they're no longer being made. I could be wrong. So please correct me if I am wrong. I am open for corrections and not afraid to fail in front of strangers. <laughs> so on nine... I'm liking this fat boy on nine. It's, it's, it's cutting some whiskers. Okay, so this thing said, massage back in the skin if you want to reshave. Massage back in the skin. Does that mean add more or just, because it would have to. It, it, I'm confused, Cremo, I'm confused. Believe me, it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much. Yeah, I need to put some more. Okay, hmm, interesting. All right, there's another slightly almond size. That does feel good. It's very slick. I don't like the fact that you can't see where you shave. That's why I like a lather or a brushless shaving cream because you can see much more obviously where you've already shaved and you don't risk uh, you know, getting razor burn. But I'm also digging this fat boy on nine. If you ever tried a fat boy on nine, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Somebody in the hangout said, do you rehearse what you're gonna say before these videos? And it's like, no way, man, I couldn't. I might have a slight direction of an idea of what I wanna talk about. But you can't rehearse this kind of drivel. You just can't. This sort of inane <laughs> dribble I come out with. Why well, did get a nick down there? You can see the nicks really well through the non-lather. Now see, I can't see any lather at all, so I can't remember if I shaved. I mean, I, I remember I didn't shave. Didn't do a second pass on my lip. Here's what I'm gonna do next. Now you don't have to do three passes. But I like to do three passes every now and then. I certainly don't do it every day. But I'm gonna try lathering this thing again. I tried it twice now with the way they recommend. I'm gonna try lathering it again with the way I just unknowingly did it on Friday. Let's see what happens. See if I can do it. See if I can buck the system. If you wanna be a rebel, be a rebel. That's what my youngest son told me. <laughs> if you wanna be a rebel, be a rebel. I don't know where he got it, some cartoon somewhere, but it cracked me up. All right, yeah, I, uh, you know, even if you can't see the lather, it's still, your skin is very slick, so that's cool. It's doing a good job. This blade, this old razor, and this cream. But now let's try. You know, last Friday I did the lather with this. I'm gonna do it with this. My old, my first, my first. Oh, you, you don't forget your first synthetic brush, do you? The old satin tip. It's got the worst font in the world, though. It's like the old English font, and then, oh, I don't even know what. 
As a former graphic designer, I, I'm, I'm slightly offended by that font. I'm a, I'm a font purist. I don't know. I don't know. All right. No Comic Sans, please. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just do what I normally would, like if I took the uh, this Pacific, uh, that one right there. I'm going to put the same amount that I would. Oh, that looks like one of those cupcakes. You know, like one of those little swirly cupcakes. <laughs> don't eat it. Don't eat it, Sinatra. Don't do it. All right, I'm going to see if I can get a ladder out of this sucker like I did on Friday. But now that I know about it. Wow, this brush is so much lighter than that big West Coast sweeping one. Huh? I'm lathering. I'm lathering. Boy, I'm extra silly today. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know what's right with me. You can get a very light, this is a light lather. This is a light lather. You can get a light lather, lather out of Cremo. You gotta use a little more, but now you can see where you've shaved. Now, because it's my third pass, I don't need to, I don't wanna get razor burn, so I don't wanna go over too much. So, I'm just gonna go very lightly, especially because this is on nine. All right, go up. So, do it however you want. That fits perfectly with my life's motto when it comes to shaving. Use what makes you happy. Use what works best for you. Don't worry about what everybody else is using. Learn what other people are using and then try it out. If it doesn't work for you, try a different way. Everybody's different in this great, big, beautiful, crazy world of ours. Here we go up against the grain. I can't get over the, the spikiness of that. Look at that. <laughs> now the pomade says it's hair act hair activated. <laughs> it's water activated, is that what it says? Medium hold, medium shine. If you want to control that, let your restyle your hair throughout the day. Uh, some, I think the guy told me it's, you can, you know, like during the day, if it starts to go flat, you just, uh, you know, get your hands wet and put your, do your hair again, you can kind of put it back in some sort of semblance of a hairstyle. <laughs> Sounds like Crema has a lot of things that are water activated. Shaving creams, pomades. I did watch a little bit of uh, Oh Brother Where Art Thou this weekend with the uh, Dapper Dan and Fop. I'm a Dapper Dan man. I don't want Fop. <laughs> Ain't this place a geographical oddity? Two weeks from everywhere. All right, it's enough movie quotes. Boy, I tell you, I only got a couple little nicks here. Normally, when I shave with this fat boy on seven, I get a few more nicks. I'm wondering if that's the blade, the setting on the razor, or the cremo. Or just maybe I'm doing better today. You know how some days you feel like you're on top of your game? Got it all firing on all cylinders, and some days you just don't. Today might be one of those days where I'm firing on at least 93% of my cylinders, which is good. Speaking of good, I'm good, good and done, I guess. Ah, oh, that's good. The cold water with the mint, it doesn't get any better than that, folks. It really, for my money, it doesn't get any better than that. You have noticed, certainly, I hope, that I've cut down a lot on the menthol since my low point there with the Barbasol. <laughs> but I, you know, I haven't given it up completely. I'm still using mint, which is, you know, what menthol is. It's just not as high dosage. Man, that's good. That feels really good. There's a couple little spots I'm not going to worry about. But overall, you know, when you do that first thing, when you first shave and you get... You do three passes, you feel your cheeks. Oh, man, I tell you. <sighs> Nothing like it. All right. Now for the Cremo post-shave. No, you were not watching last Friday's video. This is a new one. This is Monday. <laughs> I just had some new revelations. Oh, come on, get out of there. I should, I should uh, store this upside down in my cabinet. That's how much I'm going to use. The cooling, refreshing mint 
post shave balm. And I described it as smelling like a Victorian home with like that old rose water scent or old wood, like an old, the inside of an old piano. And somebody said it might be cedar that they added to it. And I could see that cedar wood. It does, there is some of that cedar now that they say that. I'm picking up a cedar note. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I love it. It's good stuff. It's, 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 for right now, it's my new favorite. My new favorite. It's mint. It smells vintage. It feels good. And, uh, wow, that's a good shave. Hey, so, you can lather with this if you want to, if you use a brush. You gotta use a little bit more, but that's okay. It's not very expensive. I can't even remember how much this was. Was it less than $5, maybe? It says it's a 90-day supply. I think that's if you get exact, um, you know, measurements. I don't know. I don't know. What do I know? I'm just a simple man just trying to shave. Um, didn't use barb saw today. Always got to show that. And hey, good job, Grandpa Grungy. You did it again, buddy. You're not looking too bad for your age. 1960. My goodness. Yeah, I know. 59, 59 years old? Is that right? I don't know. You do the math. <laughs> I am terrible. I shouldn't do these things to myself. I shouldn't do math problems live on here. I was an art major, for goodness sake. All right. Hey, guys. Hey, gang. Thanks for joining me. Um, I've got an electric razor that a company in China sent me that they've been bugging me to review, but I just haven't done it yet. And I don't want to... I'm not going to take any more... Uh, uh, people want to send me stuff from China, like electric razors. It's just not my thing. But uh, she was so nice that... I'll do it soon. I'll just do like a quick video, I think, to review it because she was nice enough to send it to me. Uh, but anyway, lots more coming up uh, this Friday. I have no idea what I'm going to use. Hopefully my JFK uh, shaving set will be arriving today. So I'll do that on Friday. So if you want to stick around and see what kind of razor and what kind of travel shaving kit that John F. Kennedy used and the same razor that his own father used back in the 1920s, then uh, stay tuned for that on Friday if you're a history buff like I am. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go like skewer things on this, the points of this hair, maybe go roast some marshmallows or something like that. See you later.